All right. There's a topic here that I haven't discussed in a long, long time. So I think it's important to bring it up again and bring it back up to the top. And I'll do it in a different way. I'll make a longer video. So get some coffee or some tea in my case. <laughs> and take a hearing about what this video is about. <coughs> well, hello, everybody. My name is Lisa, and this is Hearing Pathfinders. Pathfinders. <laughs> So we deal with everything about hearing loss. And today I'm going to talk about tools that might be important for you or for a loved one. Um, and these are about all the practical tools that are out there that you might not know about. Um, let's talk about signalers. Uh, and that's what mainly this video is about. Signalers are... Um, electronics that alert us of a doorbells, that alert us uh, with vibration of our alarm clocks. There are signalers that help us with uh, alerting us about the phone, that the phone is ringing. Uh, so it can do so many things. It can alert us of uh, whether I have to look around my room, <laughs> all my electronics. So uh, I have a weather alert also that has a vibrator and uh, a flashing light on it. So if the weather gets threatening, then I'll know and figure out what I need to do. And it's done that quite a few times this summer. <laughs> so <laughs> I think the national, th I thank NOAA <laughs> for all its announcements on the weather. Um, let's see. Uh, so just alerts, you know, and what is the most important alert for you. Um, there are, so let me talk about, let me talk about signalers themselves. You can find them on, uh, Serene Innovation is one company, and you can find their uh, alert systems uh, on their website. On Amazon, you don't find the clock, though. That's, that's odd. The other day, I found the uh, parts of the signaler, but I didn't find the clock. So <laughs> the clock itself, you can find it on, on the website of Serene Innovations. Uh, let me see. Sonic, Sonic Bomb or Sonic Boom also has their um, systems for alerting. I know that I had tried to purchase one that came out and Right after it came out, I tried to set it up in my home, and it wasn't quite ready for the market. It really wasn't, it, because it kept on dropping the signal uh, for the different things that I needed. So it was very irritating. <laughs> so I'm sure they've improved it now, uh, because it's been a couple of years. Uh, so <coughs> so soon, Sonic Boom. So look for them, or Sonic Bomb. Not sure how they pronounce it, but uh, they have a clock also that connects to uh, systems that alert to different things, like the doorbell, like the phone, uh, or your um, cell phone, or to a fire, uh, to a baby monitor. So they have all that. Uh, so you have to think about the things that are problematic for you that you need, you need somebody to alert you of something. Or if you want to be more independent and say, no, I want to know when a fire is occurring or, you know, there's smoke, I want to know before somebody, you know, at the last minute calls me. So I do want to get a clock or a signaler that will alert me in time. Or, you know, I really want to know about my doorbell because people are, Complaining and complaining that you know that <laughs> that I don't come to the door when they ring the doorbell, and so and there's a couple of solutions. One solution is for somebody to really email you or text you before they go. So <laughs> that's a cheap solution. <laughs> the clocks that are signalers will cost you between a hundred and eighty. Uh, and $250, more or less. So they're not cheap. They're not cheap because the electronics are 
uh, very detailed because the clock needs to receive a signal from another apparatus. So that's why it's a little bit more expensive. Uh, sometimes in states like Arizona, I know they have a, a lender program, kind of like a library. You can check out uh, these apparatuses and test them or, or use them you know, until you don't need them anymore. Uh, so that's Arizona. In the state of Wisconsin, we have vouchers uh, for some things that you might need. Uh, for phones, I don't think they give out vouchers anymore because those are automatic. Um, if you need a phone, a texting phone, uh, those are out in the market and those won't cost you anything as long as you can prove that you have some type of hearing loss, some level of hearing loss. So uh, there's also that on the market. And, and those do flash a little bit when they are ringing. So I know that, you know, it's, it's ringing, somebody's calling me, so, so I know. Uh, let's see, what else? I think that's the, the, the weather alert, the clock with the vibrator. Has these clocks have uh, vibration or they have flashing lights? Flashing lights don't work for me if I'm asleep, <laughs> so I have to use the vibrators. So, so there you have it. I recommend that if you're going to use one of these clocks, that you put the vibration, the vibrator itself, down by your feet and not by your head because they're very strong and they might scare you out of this world <laughs> and you'll hit the ceiling like a cat. So um, that's my suggestion. You put the vibrator by your feet. Um, I can't think of anything else that would be a signaler. Let me look around my room for a second. No, I think the biggest one I have is, is the vibrating clock. Um, you'll see it back there, back there, right on my table there, right there. <laughs> now, that's an old version of the uh, Serene Innovation clock. They have updated it since, so you can go to their website directly and purchase it from there. <coughs> um, I thought I had a, a link to that clock, but doesn't seem like I do anymore. So, <laughs> uh, so, um, but if you go there and you're going to purchase it, you can let them know that I sent you over there <laughs> to Serena Innovations to see if um, the clock is still there, if it's available. And it's $179, I think. So, with tax, it's going to come out to hundred, about 180. Um, so those are the tools I use to alert me that something's going on. That something's that somebody's at my door, uh, that somebody's calling me, that, you know, so many things. So if that's something that interests you, uh, go on Amazon or go to Serena Innovations and check out the tools they have so that you're not scrambling or people are complaining that you don't answer the phone, you don't answer the door, and people might be worried about you in case of a fire. Uh, so, you know, you, you can find these tools and pick the one you feel more confident with or ask a friend. You can ask questions here on the channel and, and see which ones I use here, which is really ser serene innovation. And it's always come through for me um, when the alarm goes off. My system goes off here, and then I know to move out, <laughs> evacuate. <laughs> so, And the other thing, now that I say evacuate, um, I've put that a couple of times here on the channel, but it's really important to be uh, alert to those emergencies, whether it's inside your home or outside your home, like a flood, tornadoes, hurricanes, whatever it might be. But to be alert and to be safe. You know, watch the news, uh, make sure you turn on the captioning on your TV so that, you know, you can follow and be alert of your environment inside your home and outside of your home so that you're safe. So <coughs> the deaf community does a good job at this. 
they do use these clocks and signalers all the time. And um, they're aware. Sometimes they learn about a tornado or a hurricane way before I do. Uh, so <laughs> I need a little more practice, perhaps. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to put out some tools because I haven't done that in a long time. So I wanted to put it all in one video. It might sound confusing. Uh, so but I want to thank you for coming, for listening, uh, and for spending a few moments with me to learn about some things that could help you in regards to your hearing loss and to know that all is not lost. <laughs> there are things and tools that can help you. Uh, so feel free to like the video. That helps to, <laughs> to have it spread around. And um, subscribe if you'd like. You don't have to, but the like, I think, will help me a lot more on the channel. Um, that's all I can think of. Uh, please come again. Feel free to watch the videos that pop up. I think one or two will pop up here at the bottom. And I'll see you in the next one.